Ryan Ritter, University of Tennessee Martin, head men's basketball coach. All right, coach, can you give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a lot of excitement. Um, you know, we, we bring back a, a good amount of guys. Uh, bring back, in my opinion, one of the best players in the league, ultimate winner. Um, we've recruited some really talented to guys around uh, to integrate with the, the returners and, um, you know, winning 19 games, finishing third place last year. I think um, the overall, you know, theme for our team would probably be excitement, just, um, you know, uh, really looking forward to, to seeing what this year has to offer. What do you like most about your team this year? I think, you know, at this point right now, we, we have unbelievable chemistry. Uh, I think we have a lot of guys that are focused on winning. Uh, we made it a point in recruiting that, that every player we recruited has come from a winning program, you know, whether it be Division One, whether it be junior college. Um, at some point, uh, they've been a part of winning programs. And, you know, the, the six guys that we retained uh, have all played major minutes for us, have, have uh, had experience in the tournament. So I think the theme is just, you know, understanding how to win, you know, putting, putting uh, you know, putting others before yourself. And I think we've done a, a heck of a job uh, doing that up until this point. I think uh, the journey, uh, the journey is, you know, so fun every year. It's different with each group, even from guys that we had last year to this year, they're still a different version of themselves. So I think, you know, the, the, the everyday battles, uh, you know, the ups, the downs, uh, you know, I think that's, you know, personally why I got into coaching is to help mold young men. And I think, you know, using basketball as a vehicle to do it is, is, is awesome. But, uh, you know, just, just seeing guys grow, seeing our team grow, um, and then seeing, you know, what, what, what may transpire toward, you know, at the end of the year and, and hopefully we're playing our best basketball. But I think really just the everyday wake up, uh, the journey of, of impacting young people every day. What is one thing that must happen for your team to be successful this year? Well, I think, you know, like most guys would probably say in here, um, you know, we, we didn't choose to play golf. We're not wrestling. You know, it's not an individual sport. Um, you know, we've got to come together. We've got to have great cohesion. We've got to have great chemistry. We've got to be able to respond to adversity in the right manner. Um, so I think, you know, I don't think it's a, a basketball thing. I don't think it's ball screen defense or, um, you know, sharing the basketball. I, I think it really has to do with how, how tight can our group get? How can we respond to adversity? And um, are we playing our best basketball come March? I think, you know, if you bring all 11 guys in here, I think all 11 feel like they have a chance to, to compete at a high level, um, have a chance to win a conference championship. So I know the preseason rankings, you know, are going to be, um, you know, out there. And um, I think you can probably throw those out. And I think all 11 of us feel like, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're competing for this thing for a regular season championship. And I think if you look at, um, you know, last year, um, you know, there's, there's a race, a tight race down the stretch. And, and obviously Moorhead had a chance to, to finish it out. But... Um, I think there's really good teams. I think that the quality of competition is, is high and that the parity is really, really good.